guys. Fancy meeting you here. I was just uh, finishing up my last set of uh, 10 handstand push-ups for my monthly challenge. I uh, hope you guys are all crushing those goals. Uh, there will be a post on the Facebook page. Uh, what is it? About noon now I'm taping this. So probably around 2 or 3 uh, to see where everybody's at. And to give a clap to those of you that were able to crush your goal. Um, so here is what we are looking at today. Strength component is going to be one of my personal favorites. Two minutes to do a max effort unbroken set of handstand push-ups. Uh, technically that was my last set. I started out in the garage and then it started pouring. Then you guys couldn't hear anything on the microphone so came inside. Um, in two minutes, so every other two minutes, we're gonna alternate. Strict pull-up, same thing, max effort set. Uh, I'm looking for about five rounds each, all right? Uh, if you just completely burn out before you get to five rounds, that's fine, three or four for a lot of people, um, especially if those are challenging for us, perfectly fine. Um, the goal that I like to use, uh, keeping in mind, I am very comfortable with handstand push-ups. I'm also very comfortable with strict pull-ups. My goal is two to one. I'm trying to, essentially, since I'm doing the handstand push-up first, I'm setting my reps, and then I'm trying to get to at least half that many reps on the strict pull-up. All right, keep in mind, we're trying to fully extend on both, um, and then specifically on the strict pull-up, I want you guys to make sure we hit extension and then engage and pull back down, all right, as opposed to pumping at the elbow. Um, I do the handstand push-up strict. You do not have to do them strict if you want to mix that up. Uh, but keep in mind that'll probably mix up that ratio a little bit. Uh, last thing I want to show you guys in this video, you saw in the warm-up that we we're doing thoracic rotations uh, today to get ready for the strength stuff. Um, this is something most of you would probably have you normally do on the ground. Uh, but since it's tough to video on the ground, I'm just going to video it on the wall over here. All right. So essentially what I'm doing, same thing goes for the floor is I'm going to put the right shoulder flat against the wall, palm out. I'm going to take the opposite hand, which is the shoulder that's going to be rotating, and I'm going to put my hands together. From there, the goal is to take the hand, left fingers, all the way up over into a circle, trying to keep it as much in contact with the wall as I can. If I can open all the way up, I'm completely happy, and I come back through. If I'm coming off the wall as I get there, I'm still going to keep challenging that through my full range of motion before I come back through. All right, it's going to be a minute on each side. So basically what we're looking at there is take your time, move through it, quality work, one minute, one minute each side. As for today's workouts, here we go. Three rounds, 30 for the guys, 20 for the ladies on the push-ups and 30 alternating dumbbell snatches, 15 each side. Uh, weight, entirely up to you, whatever you have. Same thing for kettlebell. If we're going with a barbell, um, you have a couple options. You can go heavier, 15 total, or you can go lighter and do 30 total. You can do them from the hang if you want, if they're super light, your call. Um, if you guys only have a band, something you can still do here, which is putting the band down under the feet as if though we were going to do an upright row or like a uh, strict press for a warm-up or something and you're just coming up into a punch overhead all right it's a little tricky to get the dynamics down right away but after you get some practice in for a couple minutes it actually is pretty simple to do all right and then 30 double unders uh, 100 i'm sorry 90 double unders 180 singles or however we're modifying them with jumping jacks toe taps uh, lateral hops over a bar, something along those lines. 